Greetings and welcome to another impressions video here at Words About Games and today we're going to be looking at Across the Grooves. Across the Grooves is an interactive graphic novel set in a magical realism universe. The game follows Alice who travels across Europe in search of her ex who sent her a mysterious record that changed her past after she listened to it. You'll follow Alice on her journey in this new world making choices that slightly alter her personality. I dig a nice, cosy game. Across the Grooves has a really chilled out, relaxed vibe to it that I really needed after playing The Last of Us Part 2, a game that made me feel all the feelings, but mostly the sad ones. This is a really pleasant graphic novel with interactive gameplay elements, complete with a compelling cast of characters and intriguing central mystery, among its many other strengths. The core gameplay is pretty much a visual novel. But as I mentioned in the opening description, Across the Grooves bills itself as a graphic novel, which means that the game adopts a heavily stylized art style that wouldn't look out of place in an indie comic book. It's gorgeous, but not only is it very nice to look at, it pulls its weight in the storytelling department too. The game uses colour palettes to help set the mood of a particular scene. It also does a fantastic job of conveying different characters or locations' personalities. Alongside the artwork, Music plays a critical role in Across the Grooves. The soundtrack is excellent, but it actually goes deeper than just giving you some awesome songs that set the atmosphere of a scene perfectly. Music itself is a core part of the game's world, not just because the thing that kicks off the story is a mysterious record that appears in Alice's mail one day. As Alice embarks on her odyssey across Europe in search of the ex that sent her the record, she meets a lot of different people. Most of them are, naturally, music lovers or record shop owners or former band members. Across the Grooves is in part a love letter to classic rock, folk, soul, psychedelic, jazz and, well, just music in general. Characters discuss music with reverence, whether they're attending a local gig in a pub or discussing Led Zeppelin IV. As someone who has a deep appreciation for the type of music that's featured heavily here, it's like catnip to me. But even if you don't know your electric ladyland from your Jefferson airplane, the game has your back. Whenever a character mentions or references something, it's added to the lexicon, so you can look it up and get a pretty detailed explanation of anything you're unsure about, though the dialogue is so well written and natural that you'll be able to suss most of it out through context. Choice plays a huge role in Across the Grooves, right down to the music itself as well as influencing the music you'll hear in various scenes, which can shift the entire atmosphere of any given moment. You can even change the music you're listening to. One early example saw me selecting the lyrics of an entire song, changing its mood and meaning. On top of that, you're able to wield a lot of influence over Alice herself. Not necessarily in the things she'll say in a conversation, though there are definitely some dialogue options, but mostly interactions. Picking between whether to talk to the current owner of your ex's former stall, or the woman in the stall nearby with the boxes of records, or who to have a conversation with at a social gathering, or whether to have a nightcap with someone or not. These choices affect the pieces of information you get, and how you get them, but they also have an effect on Alice herself. There are four icons along the top of the screen that light up depending on the actions you take, a swirl, a lightning bolt, a flower, and a skull. Each one is representative of a different aspect of Alice's personality, and every time you make a decision, you're making small changes to Alice herself, how she dresses, the music she listens to, how she talks, and more. While these icons themselves could do with being better explained, I have no real idea what each one is supposed to represent, or which ones are Alice's dominant personality traits. It's really cool to be able to affect the main character on such a fundamental level across multiple playthroughs. By the time I reached the end of the story, I felt like I had some ownership over who Alice was as a person and the choices she was making in response to that, which helped me feel attached to her as a character. The characters you'll meet and interact with throughout your trip across Europe are interesting across the board. Wherever you end up and whoever you end up talking to, you'll have some really fascinating conversations with some really quite compelling people. Their stories, anecdotes and personalities are really given a lot of chances to shine thanks to some excellently written dialogue. Though I do selfishly wish the game had voice acting, just to hear some of this great dialogue spoken aloud. The core narrative thread of finding out everything you can about this magical record with the ability to allow you to change the past is intriguing, but it's even better as a vehicle to put you in the path of a large cast of excellently written characters. Across the Grooves pushes a lot of my buttons. 
It's got a killer art style and brilliant soundtrack that helps set a particular atmosphere that I really dug from start to finish. I appreciated the obvious love and respect that the writers of the game had for music, which shines through the many, many conversations about all sorts of different genres and eras of musical history. The characters as well are wonderful, particularly Alice, who I really formed a bond with over the course of the game. Across the Grooves is an excellent way to spend a few hours. Thanks very much for watching this video. If you enjoyed it or found it useful, consider sticking around here at Words About Games. Our content includes review impressions of games big and small, a weekly podcast dedicated to discussing the happenings in and around the games industry, weekly opinion videos, reactions, debate-driven top 5 and top 10 lists, a regular Hall of Fame series where we discuss our favourite games, and indie game spotlights. We also stream every Friday and Saturday at twitch.tv slash wordsaboutgames. Most importantly, have a brilliant day.